All right, guys. So uh, we're down on the Connecticut River again, and we're anchored up. We're gonna try starting to fish for some catfish here. It's like 6 a.m. Uh, it's a really nice day. But Jared's gonna show you guys how we set up to fish for catfish on the river. So, the rod I have here, it's a seven, like seven and a half foot medium heavy spinning rod, uh, 5,000 size reel with some braid on it. So, on the main line, I'm gonna pop a two ounce egg sinker. And these are beat to hell from bouncing around in my box. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to get the line through because the the other weight's kind of smashed it closed. So let me just open that up here. And you want to, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you're going to, if you come to the river, bring a lot of weights, bring a lot of hooks, because you're going to lose them. There's, there's a lot of snags, there's wood, there's rocks. But pop that on. And this is a one knot Spro Swivel, 370 pound test. Not that you need that, but I like the size because it stops the, the weight. I mean, I have their other ones, they're just so little. I feel like, I don't know, 50 pound test, which is plenty, but you don't, the, the sinker kind of smashes into it heavy for my liking. Pop that on. Sometimes I'll put a bead on between the sinker and the swivel. Uh, if you're using the little ones, that's that's the way to go. But even with these big ones, it gives a little noise, I don't know. Kind of sounds like a crayfish bouncing around on the bottom, I think. Peaks their interest. Look at that. Snip the tag end, because catfish are have excellent eyesight. <laughs> Not really. But, and this is just 30 pound mono for the hook. 20, 30 pound is good. And then for a leader, oh, probably 18, 20 inches. To a four out. Uh, Trocar inshore kale hook. These are the same hooks I use for my um, bottom rigs for like haddock and stuff. I really like them. Super sharp and I like the kale style hook for fishing with bait. If anybody's listening out there at Eagle Claw, you could make a kale bait holder hook. It'd be even better with a couple, couple notches up on the shank. But there you go. Simple rig there. And we're going to put a hunk of mackerel on it and send it out there. I'm just going to rig up the other rods here and we'll be back. No hits yet? What's going on? Something's wrong. I don't think the mackerel stinks it up. Oh, I think it's... If anything is, I believe that is not the problem. Drop shot, guys. Smallmouth. Oh, chunky guy. That is the perfect boat flip. Yeah. Look how fat he is. That old guy. We're fishing in this pool for catfish, and I just figured. Well, I didn't figure. My ADD is too much. I can't just sit and wait. So I had to grab a rod and 
give it a little give it a little flip. We should um when we do this next time we should have a little hook and a, a night crawler out for, for some carps or suckers or yeah anything really. Something that doesn't like stinky mackerel. But if I was a carp when I was sucking off the bottom, all of a sudden there's this very pungent mackerel thing. I'd give it a taste. Alright. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, you just started ripping it, kind of. Ooh, those are big head shakes, I think. What could it be now? That's not copyrighted, I changed the lyrics. <laughs> it's gotta be a catfish. So the when you eat, they eat method, once again. It never feels. Do I have sauce all over my face? <laughs> Just the shirt. Okay. All righty. It feels heavy. Uh, excuse me. He feels like he's got some thump to him. Staying down. Everybody always says that when, you know, that's how you know you got a big one. He's making big lunges, so I gotta think he's big. Oh, oh, thought he came off. What would that happen? <laughs> he's coming up the river. I'm kind of like shunning the camera. Get the right. net ready here. Oh yeah. I think it's an eight pounder at least. to tell how deep he is, but it looks like a channel cat. Oh yeah, ooh, it might be better than eight pounds even. Matt better watch out. That's a pretty big one, I think. No, no it's not. I just haven't seen one in a while. He's pooping out air. That's a good size fish It's though. probably six to eight pounds. I got my uh, grippers we can. Mm -hmm. Poop up. Oh, he's got some heft. Yeah, he ain't a bad one. <laughs> he's talking shit. There's the Kaylee. It's in the bone. Yeah, he took that and he was gone. Yeah, he did. He just, he was like thunk, thunk. Oh, I bet he's a 10 pounder maybe. Oh, these kale hooks are friggin', I love them. <laughs> he likes them too. Yeah. Uh, right in the front of my bag. What are we looking for, a scale? Yeah. Right front pocket there. Should be the bogus. All right. The momento truth. He felt heavier than the gallon of milk. Oh yeah, eight pound, uh, eight and a quarter. Oh, right in the belly. <laughs> eight and a quarter. Yeah, not bad. No. Nope. We'll measure, measure him. We'll get a. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna. I'm gonna throw him in the live well for a minute till I get, dig yeah. that out. He's gonna be the. Uh, uh huh. What did I say? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah. He's eight pounds and. Yeah, oh, that's a pit. That's that's definitely. Or a patch. Yeah. But let me throw that out. We'll get that re out there. All right, we'll, uh, we'll bait up again and maybe we'll stay here for a little bit. Yeah.
lady. trying to get out of the uh, boat ramp here. It's a little hectic. It's hectic. It's, it's family of... day down at the side of the nuclear power plant. But uh, we had... Oh, a jet ski! Oh, he's going right to the dam. Yep. <laughs> right into the wall. Oh, jeez. Look at him. But anyways. We uh, we did all right. We had three, three catfish on. Uh, one of them tangled itself around something. We don't know. We fought with it for a little while. Uh, the other one, maybe it was something small, maybe I jerked the hook out of its mouth. Who knows? Uh, but we got one decent one, it was 8 pounds, 27 inches. Enough for a New Hampshire trophy patch. Yep, uh, Jared caught a couple small mouth while we were just kind of waiting on stuff, so all in all, not too bad of a day. Um, Beautiful weather, this is a great day to be on the water. Yeah, first good day of the year really that we've been out. Got the first sunburn out of the way. So, we're going to head home, pack it up, I think. We're going to the Cape next weekend, but I don't want to make a ton of promises. Uh, maybe do some sea bass fishing, so stay tuned for that one. Don't forget to enter our giveaway, our 500 subscriber giveaway. We're getting closer. Uh, you'll win a pretty sweet uh, Sh Shimano reel and uh, St. Croix rod and some other stuff. So, and Not to uh, make this the longest outro ever, but things have been crazy lately for us. We've had, I had a baby. Well, I didn't have the baby, obviously, but uh, you know, my wife had a baby at our son two weeks ago he's been finishing up school so things have been crazy for us we're getting back to it here we're gonna we're gonna start pumping out the videos again yep we're gonna hit her hard so we'll see you in the next one uh, until then hope you get out and go fishing